Hi guys, I'm back again, welcome back to my channel and as promised in the last video that I have just uploaded this is my What's in My Bag 2015 This is just a plain black messenger bag It is a no-name bag, as you can see No name <coughs> Gesundheit, that's it, Nikki Witch's brain has now gone. So, <clears throat> I got it from a charity shop. I wasn't gonna pick it up, but then I thought it's really, really nice, and it's got this flat base, so when you stand it on the floor, it just stays there and doesn't go anywhere. And it's actually really well made, so I can't remember the price of it. It's less than a fiver, but this is Nikki. I don't pay over a fiver for a lot of things. So, but it's a really nice one. It's white clean and everything like that. It's got three pockets and a zipper. It's got this one at the front, then a popper one. There's a little zip on the inside of this one, and then there is a zip pocket. So I'm gonna start from the front and work my way back. This should be fun. I've been using this bag for majority of this week now, so. And Pops is sat right next to me, so I'm gonna try not to cover her and stuff. Excuse me, I've still got the snuffles. Anyway, going in, <laughs> on the subject of snuffles, I have some spare napkins. I have my Body Shop Tea Tree Oil Hand Cleansing Gel. Oh, 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 I've got my camera the other way around. Looks like this. This stuff smells amazing. It's quite strong scented, but I absolutely love it. So, got that. I've got my inhaler, for those who don't know, yes, I am asthmatic. I have been for about 20 years. What else is down here? Oh, little ticket for McDonald's. Collect enough stickers, you get free coffee. Oh, and that's it for that bit. It's not too bad. Next bit. Got my purse. The purse I'm using at the moment is a Susie Smith purse. Got this from TK Maxx. And it's basically... Just three pockets on the inside. You've got cards this side, cards that side, and a zip pocket in the center. And it looks like payday skipped me by. So, yep, yeah, that's that one. Oh, wrong pocket. Uh, I've got a molten and brown rhubarb and rose replenishing hand cream. There we go, came from my birch box. So, I always keep a hand cream on me because. Even though when you wash your hands in the toilets, wherever, public toilets or hotel toilets or something like that, it's still nice to moisturise your hands. In fact, there's only one place I know of that actually has moisturiser as well as hand soap. So kudos to them. Right, back in. I've got my perfume. This is the Conquers All perfume. This is oh, the So In Love Conquers All. Looks like that. This was from Poundland. I don't want a very expensive perfume in my handbag just in case. So I just carry this one and it's tiny enough and smells really nice. It's got like a floral spicy smell to it. So, but for a pound and with it being majority plastic lid, it can knock around in your handbag and it's quite safe. So bonus. What else? I feel paper. Okay, what's this? Okay, I bought something from Savers. Savers receipt. Put that that side. More paper. Oh, look, I went shopping in co-op. What did I buy? What did I buy? <laughs> Fudge brownies. Bought a milkshake. I've uh, got my mints. Always carry a pack of mints with me. These were from um, Home Bargains at like 40 pence. But they're called... Is that going to show? There we go. Just mints. Just a... Same as a Paolo. But I like these because they have just the tiniest of little holes that the mint can come out of, so... <laughs> wet, wet. Oh, we're doing well, aren't we? Back in. What's that? Uh, lip gloss. This is just a little one. I think it's a Techniques one. No, it's a Model Co one. Came in my birch box. It's a really nice one. 
and just do a little swatch of it. It is a very pale sort of beigey colour. Just that. So yeah, that's in there. My <coughs> card purse that I got from TK Maxx about five, six years ago. But when you've got so many store cards, it's really nice to have this. I think I showed it in my last handbag emptying video, but lots and lots of space for lots of different cards. So I like that. I don't know what make that is. I don't know whether it tells me. Does it echoes? Can't help you. But it's it's handy, and I think it was like six, seven pounds or something like that. What have I got down here? I've got another piece of paper. Oh, the remnants of stamps. And a pen, which is the Birchbox lipstick pen. Always handy to have a pen in your pocket. I'm sad. I need to hear the lid click. I'm like Monica from Friends. My sisters will tell you that. But yeah, always good to have a pen in your bag. But I like to have the fact it's the lipstick pen because nobody can pinch it because they're just too embarrassed to walk around with the lipstick pen. And that's it for in there. In the back zip-up pocket at the back of this one. I only have two things in here, hopefully. I've got my passport. I always keep my passport on me because with James being an MOD, sometimes he has to go onto MOD property to send emails or check computers and stuff like that and I need my ID to do that and because it's random when he goes I always keep it with me and I've got my little Radley key purse and that's all that's in that bit I'm gonna put those back in so that I don't forget because I'm not leaving the house without my keys so that's that pocket then we've got the zip up pocket at the back here this is the doozy as you can see I'm a bit of a bag fiend I've got the case that my vlogging camera goes into, <laughs> knows where it lives. I've got the case that I put my e-cigarette and my e-liquid in, as you can see it's out at the moment. If you want me to do a review on e-cigarettes and e-liquids, please let me know because I use e-cigarettes as well as smoking as well, but James is fully e-cigarette now. He's stopped smoking now for a good five, six months now and I'm really, really proud of him. But he actually has three or four different e-cigarettes and he's just started on a dripper, if you know what one of those are. So if you want to know what any reviews on those, please let me know because I can do that for you. So in this one, back on subject, <laughs> I've got my little handy wipes. For those that have won giveaways and stuff like that from me, I always put a pack of these in. They're so handy. And then I've got a lip lip balm that I got from Born Pretty Store and I love this one. I can't remember its name. I think it's Girl To Go, something like that, but it's vanilla scented. And considering I've had this for nearly a year now and I do use it often, there's actually quite a lot left. But it literally smells like vanilla cheesecake. Mm. So yep, that's that. Also, I have a Baby Lips in here, and this one is the Cherry Velvet scent, flavour scent, in the bottom. <laughs> this James gave me last weekend, and I'm not quite sure why, but I think it's quite hilarious. It's Army Issue UV Protection Delph Lip Care. Army Lip Balm. So I'm going to give this a go. <laughs> It's brand new, never been used, so. Hmm. Here we go. It's a little on the dry side. I suppose if you're in the desert, you'd need that. It has no scent to it whatsoever, so. But you never know. I'll keep it in my bag. <laughs> then. I know. Oh, I have a gold ticket from Ling's Bingo Hall. It's the gold raffle tickets, and if you get one of these, when you go into Ling's and you're playing bingo, when they do the gold raffle, you can get you can win up to five hundred pounds if your number's called. So keep hold of that one. Then I have these two cases, two little makeup bags, and that's everything for in there. But these two makeup bags are they have two different reasons. 
that makes sense. So I'll go through this one first. This one is a Susie Smith one. I've got the larger version of this as well, which holds all my... <laughs> James got me these a few years back, but this one holds all of my um, go-to, but not quite go-to makeup every day. I'll go through that another day if you want. In here, this is my... Oh crikey, James has suggested stopping in a hotel. I haven't got my makeup with me. Or, oh good God, my face looks crap. I better do my makeup. So this has literally the miniatures of everything I need to cover my face. So I'll go through these quickly. I have another lip balm. Can to put these where I'm not going to cover Portia. So that's that bit. Let me just pull my sleeve up. I'm wearing James's jumper. It's so snugly and warm. You'll now know where his jumper is. I've got a little baby Rimmel London Kabuki brush. I've got a pair of tweezers. You'd be surprised what I can fit in here. I've got a, what's this Max Factor? Yeah, I've got a little Max Factor brush that has its own casing. I've got the Lord and Berry eyeliner in mini. A lot of these are from Birchbox. I've got the Benefit They're Real Mascara sample, Birchbox. Then I have the Max Factor Two Step Lip Gloss and Shine in the colour, oh, it just says colour 80. Does it say the name of that side? Does it echoes? But yeah, I've got that in there. I've got my little Radley mirror that James bought me. This is the very first Radley thing I think he bought me. It was either this or the keychain. And it's absolutely brilliant, that little mirror. But because it's covered, it never gets scratched or broken. Love it. I've got the Kors face powder, or Kores or whatever you want to call it. And I like this because it does come with the mirror and underneath is the sponge and it's hip pan look. I don't know if you can tell, there you go, hip pan, but who cares. But I've got that. I've got a Hello Kitty concealer. Definitely need that bit. I've got the Jodie Kid lipstick in Tamarind. And I like this because it won't open unless you push it in and click it. But it's a neutral colour, which makes it a lot easier. I can do it with any eyeshadow or eye tone. Then I have in case we're going out in the evening and they haven't been told, my Youth Saleron lipstick, and this is in the colour Rouge Volupt. <laughs> Absolutely love this colour. There's not much left of it because I do use it. So it's absolutely gorgeous and I love the packaging. So I think even when the lipstick dies on me, I will probably attempt to put another lipstick on the inside. I'll give it a go. And then last of all, in this little one, I have the Jessie Girl, I need a clean, um, eyeshadow palette, which has got the browns and the purples and like highlighting colours. i open it up and show you. <clears throat> it looks like that. And it does have the applicator, which if I'm just using it for touch-ups, I will use the applicator and or just my finger. So, But yeah, it goes from highlighting colours all the way to the browns. So the only thing that's not in there is a black. But I do know that if I use my cold pencil on the corners of my eye and use my finger to smudge it in, it does the same thing. So that's everything that's in that little one. So that's the makeup one. And then this one is more the medical one. That makes sense. This little bag is a birch box bag. So I do use them. And in here it is cram packed again. You'd be surprised how much I can fit into a bag. I have the Benefit Eye Cream. Just in case I'm feeling a little bit wrinkly, I can just slap a bit of that on. Where can I put these that's different? Pop them there. Don't move, Porsche. <laughs> I've got the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Hand Lotion. Because I'm still not 100%, I've got a pack of lockets. Always good. I've got some... White go toothpicks, because when me and James go out for meals, I hate having things stuck in my teeth. I haven't got the best teeth of all, but I do like to keep them best I can, and they just look like that. 
and I just replenish that when I need them. But with it being covered and everything, it's really handy. I've got <laughs> a little toothpaste. I used to work for a dental surgery. I could get minis when I wanted, so I still have a few. What else have I got? I've got, this is where my e-cig is at the moment. I must move that. My e-cig charger. The e-cig that I use on the go, my travel one. This is just from the e-cig outlet. And I do believe I've got, I can't remember if it's Nuke Plusion or Tutti Fruity in here. Which one is it? It's Nuke Plusion. Yeah. Oh, where am I going? There we go. I got a new plusion. Don't, I've not got too much left of that one. I'm on the 18 milligrams. James has gotten all the way down to, I think he's on 11, so he's doing really well. But uh, yeah, that's my travel e cig. I do have the Kanga as well. I'm going to keep those out so that they can go separate now. What else have I got? <laughs> I have Lemsit Max. More Lemsit Max, just in case. I've got Max Strength Cold and Flu Day and Night Capsules. <laughs> I have Paracetamol. I've got little bags to put your lady bits in. I've got lady bits. We won't go into that. Nail file. A dress book. I know it's not medical, but hey. A couple of hauls and my nail clippers. I will keep my nail clippers in this bag because my daughter used to have a habit of nicking my nail clippers and I never saw them for days and weeks and months on end. So now they stay with me permanently. So <clears throat> yeah, and for some reason, the last thing in this um, is a penny. Don't know why, but that's everything that's in there. So yeah, that's what's in my bag. <laughs> <clears throat> Not as much rubbish as I thought there was going to be. Quite impressed with myself. So, I mean, obviously my phone goes in my bag as well. So, yeah, that goes in there. I've got the iPhone 4S at the moment. If you'd like to see what apps I've got on my phone, because I've noticed there's a few videos like that around at the moment. I haven't got much on there, but, you know, if you want to see the video, just let me know. Um, and, yeah, I will do a full makeup collection because I've got this and I've got a little box under the bed and all sorts. I've done my palette collection so yeah I'll do that one as well for you. So as I said in my last update video I am back with a vengeance so ha ha! Anyway that's me waffling again and I well try not to get this video too long so anyway don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for visiting my channel. Any videos you'd like to see, pop it in the comments bar down below. And I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!